Hello students, welcome back to Physics with Safter. Now you are watching FBIEC Past Paper Solution series. And today we are going to solve Physics SSC 1 model exam paper for 2022. This year in exam you will see the paper like on your screen. So let's start the solution of this paper and remember the points what I'm going to teach you in this class. Left hand side you can see this is the version number of the paper. When you get the paper in exam, you can see one number on your paper. Let's suppose this is 0, 1, 2, 3. According to this number, you have to fill this bubbles for 0. You can fill this 1 or 1 from the next row, 2 from here, 3rd from here. Right hand side, you can see this is your roll number. Let's say uh, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So according to the number you can fill this bubbles like that now you can see this side answer sheet number when you get answer sheet in exam there is a number so you can write that number over here you will write your signature and uh, then signature of your individual letter look at this uh, specification what we have for here this section consists of uh, 12 mcqs Maximum marks 12 and time allowed in 15 minutes. And what are the other instructions we have? This is section A compulsory. All parts of this section are to be answered on this page and handed over to the center superintendent. Deleting, overwriting is not allowed. Do not use lead pencil. Very, very important, my dear. Do not delete, overwrite, you know, otherwise you will lose the mark. And the use of lead pencil is not allowed. These are the conditions you need to keep in mind. Now let's start the solution of MCQs. This is question number one. Fill in the relevant bubble for each part. All parts carry one mark. Number one. If the number of vernier scale division is 20 and minimum scale division is one millimeter, the least count of vernier caliper is. The least count formula is very simple. You write at the top what is the minimum value of main scale. Here we have 1 millimeter. At the bottom you write total number of division on your vernier scale and we have 20 here. So 1 over 20 gives 0 0.05 millimeter so option B is the correct answer. Number two, thermometer is used to measure and you have four options. Internal energy, total energy, heat and temperature. You know well thermometer is a temperature measuring device. That's why option D is the right answer. Number three, which one of the following is a unit of momentum? You have done momentum in your theory well. When you recall, you have two units of momentum. One you write kilogram meter per second and second you have Newton second. So look at the options given Newton meter, Newton second, Newton meter inverse and Newton second inverse. So Newton second is the unit of momentum. That's why option B is the right answer here. Number four, in a speed time graph, line inclined to time axis with positive slope shows uniform velocity, uniform acceleration, variable acceleration or negative acceleration. First, you need to recall a speed time graph. According to the case, uh, what we have, this is vertical line or y axis. This is horizontal line we have. On horizontal axis you have time, you can write time t here and here you have the speed symbol of v. He says the graphic line inclined to the time axis that means your line is like this. When you have a like this on v versus t graph it shows uniform acceleration. That's why option b is the right answer. Number 5. A body of mass 
1500 gram is dropped from 20 meter high tower it will reach the ground in and you have four option remember one more thing uh, when you drop an object from certain height then we use equations of motion to finding its distance traveled and time so what is the equation we are going to use here the simple equation is s is equals to half g t squared this is the equation we are going to use here this is the modified form of this equation s is equals to v i t plus half g t squared s is the distance traveled or height of the object v is initial velocity t is the time used to reach the ground and g is gravitational acceleration because of vertical motion and this t is the same as the previous one but remember when you say the object is dropped this vi goes to zero when this initial velocity goes to zero then the reduced expression becomes like this s is equals to half gt is squared look at the question you need to calculate the time so what we do you can make the time as a subject by using this equation so you get like this twice of s is equals to gt squared then twice of s over g is equals to t squared and finally you get that t is equals to twice of s over g within square root now you can put the number 2 into s it is 20 g you know well for earth is 10 and simplify this expression after the simplification you get 2 because you calculated time to you write second that's why option d is the right answer here number six a body is pulling a box with a force of 50 newton which makes an angle of 60 degree with the ground its perpendicular components are it is given a box is pulling with a force of 50 newton and 60 degree angle with the ground you can draw the situation like this you have this box on ground okay and uh, this is the pulling force 50 newton and this is the angle with the ground 60 degree they are asking calculate the perpendicular components perpendicular components you know well you can draw its vertical and horizontal component like this this is horizontal component you can write with fx this is vertical component you can write fy and in this case you need to calculate this fx and fy recall the formula of fx fx is equals to f cosine theta now you can substitute the numbers what we have the force is 50 and cosine of 60 degree now check uh, 50 cosine of 60 how much so when you check this number by using calculator then you get uh, 25 so this fx is equals to 25 newton now calculate the vertical component fy is equals to f sine theta and uh, substitute the number the force is 50 and sine of 60 43.3 newton now you can check your answers uh, with the given options 25 and 43.3 when you look at the option option b is the right answer 25 newton and 43.3 newton number 7 which one of the following is not true for couple acting on a steering wheel and you have four options now you need to recall what was the couple of forces if you recall 
the couple of forces it is uh, very clear in couple of forces what happens we use the two forces same in size parallel but they do not act in the same line that's why they produce turning effect so in this question you need to select which one is not true for couple acting on a steering wheel if you look at the option sum of forces must be zero that is true it cannot be our answer b is the right answer because there is the net turning effect it's okay sum of torque cannot be zero remember this c the turning effect cannot be zero that's true statement and finally sum of forces zero it's a true statement because when the sum of forces zero acceleration must be zero so that's why option b is the right answer here number 8 the mathematical form of an orbital velocity for a satellite revolving close to the earth such that r is greater than greater than h is recall the motion of satellite around the earth so let's suppose this is our earth and uh, this is the orbit of a satellite is here you need to calculate what is the orbital velocity of this satellite and you have four options remember one thing when the satellite is very very close to the earth what we do we take this part r plus h is equals to r only okay actually the formula of orbital velocity is v not is equals to g at h r plus h we have but when you say your r is greater than greater than h then this factor reduced to r only so finally you get v is equals to g times r actually so you look at the option that uh, they didn't write the small g they use capital g that is not correct what is the right answer the right answer is that v not is equal to small g times r okay so make this correction that's why option b is the right answer here number 9 one horse power is equals to and you have four option you know well the conversion between horse power to the watt both are the units of power one horse power hp is equals to 746 watt that's why option c is the right answer here number 10 hydraulic press is an application of you have four option hydraulic press basically is an application of uh, pascal's law here pascal is the right answer number 11 what will be the value of coefficient of volume thermal expansion beta for a solid for which uh, coefficient of linear expansion alpha has 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 kelvin you need to calculate this one actually what is beta here remember this expression beta is equals to 3 times of alpha in this case you have uh, alpha which is uh, 4 into 10 minus 5 so when you multiply 3 with 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 you get result like this beta is equals to 1 2 times 10 minus 5 so that's the result of this multiplication now you can check your result with the answers so option a is the right answer here number 12 land breeze and sea breeze are the result of conduction convection radiation and insulation remember one thing uh, land breeze and sea breezes are the results of convection so uh, it was the solution of your physics ssc1 
federal board for exam 2022 and i will upload the section b c and other parts soon so keep in touch with physics with subdar and keep watching physics with subdar for better results in exam see you in the next lesson